Hey folks, so today we're going to go try to catch some Dungeness crab again. And before we do that, I just want to show you my new crab trap that I just got. This is the Promar TR924. This is a folding crab trap. Folding just means it closes in half like that. So this is a clam style crab trap. And it works really well because when a crab come in, this is the, it has a bait box here. And when a crab come in, they eat the bait. And when you pull it up by the string, the trap will collapse just like that, um, catching the crabs inside. It's a pretty big trap. It's 24 inches across, so you got a lot of surface area. It does come with a black rope. I don't have it on here, but it does come with a black rope, and it also comes with this awesome bait box. Now, the bait box is very, very nice because when you put bait in there, um, it's gonna stay. Uh, it's gonna stay a lot longer uh, because they have a hard time uh, going through that mesh. So your bait is gonna last a lot longer, which is nice. Like other crab traps, or like the crab hog, let's say, your bait is pretty much exposed. Okay, you don't have a bait box, so they just come in and they can eat the bait really fast. But this one, they can't do that. It's got a nice bait box, and it'll keep that bait they're a lot longer. Now, there are several ways you can use this. You can toss it out by hand and pull it in by hand, or you can tie it to a fishing pole. I'm just gonna tie it to a fishing pole. I just find that a lot easier. It's just easier for me to cast and also to reel in. It is spring loaded, so when you toss it, it's going to open like that. And then when it falls down to the ocean floor, to the when it hits the bottom, it's just gonna open and then it's exposed like that so it's going to lay flat on the ground just like that and here is a size comparison with the crab hawk on the left right here this is the crab hawk now i use this a lot uh, that works really well too but just to give you an idea of how big this promar is look at that it's it's quite big it almost has you know twice the surface area okay going back to the bait box you put your bait in here it opens up like a little satchel you put your drumstick or fish head or whatever and then you just close it like that and then you use this pin to uh, close up the pot, sorry, the bait trap, so that way it doesn't come out. So that's, that's very, very nice, uh, pretty good setup. So here's the top of the string. Um, I just cut it off and then I tie my fishing line to the top of the string here. So that way it's just easier for me to cast. And after about five or six minutes, when you pull it up, as you can see, it's gonna close just like that. And then you got the crap. So pretty easy concept. So yeah, let's go out to the beach and try to catch some crabs with this. All right, folks, so I got my second trap here. And this is going on a rod. Good old crab hawk. All right, so we got chicken. It's gonna go right here, like that. It's all done, pretty simple. Oh yeah, look at this. All right, first pull. Yeah. You know. Like five of them, but no keepers, but hey, first pull, five crabs. Yeah. It's not even uh, high tide yet. Close one. Might be the same one we just got. <laughs> Does he look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> got his fingerprint DNA. How's it feel? Feels heavy, but let it go. Let it go. Look at that. Nope, no keeper here. All female again. Man, female, all, female. All your, almost all your bait's gone too. Yeah, cleaned it. Oh well. It's funny, he's still going after the bait. Uh, come on now. How's it feel? Feels heavy. All female. Female, female again? Female. Wow. Look at that. Big old female. No keeper. See? No keeper. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Alright guys, out. Well, the thing I like about that trap is that the bait, it seems like you get to keep your bait longer. Yes, that's the nice thing about it. See that they tore into the clam, 
so my clam's almost gone yeah so i'm gonna move this one down there a little bit okay to a new spot all right because we're getting all females here yeah Looks like a hell. Looks yeah. like a haul. It might be a lot of crap or going up the hill. There's like a little hump in there. Oh man. Oh, there's a lot of crabs. There's a lot of crab. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, big one. Big one, yeah, we got one. Hopefully it's a male. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Oh, well, he's another maybe. But this guy. He's burying himself in the sand. Yeah, he is. So that's what we got. That one goes back. This guy going to go back. And this guy goes back. So, girl, this one is a maybe. It's really close. How close are we? Keeper. All right, first yeah, keeper. First keeper. We've been here what, 15 minutes? Yep. This guy's been in the bay a long time. Look at all that seaweed on on that guy. Looks like your second pull, right? On that pole. Yep, second pull. So I got these finger cots, and what I had problem in the past was these guys keep on like pinching each other, and they break the shell, and um, so the best way to prevent that is put these. <laughs> it's a uh, you know, if you get a cut on your finger or something and put a band-aid and you slip these finger cuts over your finger. Of course, we all know that. But they also work really well um, just kind of keeping these crabs' claws from, you know, opening and uh, pinching each other and breaking each other's shells or legs. So, yeah, it's a pretty good trick, huh? Yeah, it's a lot easier than rubber bands. Yeah. Like, these are the extra large size. How much do they cost? Uh, I think this was like seven bucks. And you get like a uh, hundred, I think. I mean, because you, you can use them real. I mean, you can reuse them over and over, right? Yeah. If if they don't tear, then you can use them. I was too busy talking to you, Roger. It's your fault. <laughs> okay, Jay, go for it, man. Yeah, first pull. Go for it. Oh, definitely got something. Yeah. Yeah. This is my second time night crabbing in four days. The heavy? It's heavy. Yeah. There's there we go. I don't know if I got any keepers, but I definitely got crabs. Yeah, let's see what we got. It's coming. Oh, I see it. Oh, 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 oh. look at that. Oh, we got one. We got one, dude. All right. Oh, please be a keeper. That's, that's a maybe. A that's definitely a keeper. Yeah. Is it a hard shell? Yep. That one's no good. I'm gonna let this one go. Hold on. Talk about all there we go. So your chicken is pretty much all ate up. Yeah, I left it down too long. I was too busy talking with Roger and visiting with him. So yeah. I normally leave it down five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, but I think it was down 10 or 15 this time. Right on, not a big deal. We got more chicken. Yeah, but let's but go. Keeper, all right. Yeah, let's measure him, man. I think he's a good one. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't pinch my leg. <laughs> oh, keeper. All right. Keeper Number two. right there. Number two. Number two right there. Woo! Yeah, baby. Right. Oh, looks like a big haul. Yeah. I see it. Look at all this. There's no keeper. How about this one? Is this a male? Dang it. Got a lot of females tonight. They're all female tonight. We were doing good like initially, but it kind of, but the uh, tide is still coming up. I mean, it's, it's like what, 930 maybe? And we have the high tide in about 1130, so we got plenty of time. Maybe they start coming in, maybe the males will show up during high tide. But so far, it's been uh, mostly female, and you can tell because the apron is kind of round and fat. The uh, male, they just have like a narrow apron. So, oh well. 
Um, for this one, let me change, let me add bait. L look what I got, guys. So I got these cockles, and I got these uh, from uh, Dick and Clam the other day. That's why we went together, right, PK? Yeah. So we're gonna look at that. So we'll add one clam in here. Now, I can only add a clam in this uh, the Tomar one because it has a bait box. Um, I can't do it with the other one because there's really no way to skewer this clam. You can't skewer it onto here, um, but it'll just fall right off. So, this bait box is going to be pretty nice. Skewer like that. And there we go. Like that. Right, Roger. Do your thing, man. Come on, Roger. Oh, good one. Feels heavy? Feels heavy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're full. Oh. Little ones. little ones, though. And there they go. Back to the water. Back to the water, guys. Come on. <laughs> they know where to go. Watch it. They're going sideways. The smart ones. Because Yeah. Resistance. Okay. It's a race. Oh, this one's got one leg. One leg banded. Uh, no, wrong way, wrong way, that way, that way, that way. The Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Oh, the one leg's gonna win. <laughs> go, one leg. Oh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna go. He's gonna get. He wins. Oh, no, the other one went in first. Hey, they made it. Oh, hey, slow to, poke. He, he got lost. He got lost. All right, we'll help you out. We'll help you out, buddy. He's waiting, he's waiting for my tie. Yeah. There he goes. My friend recasted the trap for me, and the trap was down there for about maybe like one minute. One minute. And this male crab came up. I don't think he's legal, though, but we're going to measure him just in case. They got to be five and three quarter inch. Okay, folks, so this crab is not legal. Just just under a hair look at that so close this would have been a good one too because he's a hard shell all right so your lucky day buddy you go back all right there he goes okay so this is a second pole on jay's rod this one feels light yeah this one doesn't feel as good okay but i think i got something all right See what you got there it is i see crap i see your trap it's coming in come on oh we got a keeper we got a keeper looks full it looks full oh man look at all that folks man it didn't feel that full that's funny this trap is packed it is packed it but we got no keeper though wow look at that man. you got six crab in there six it's a lot of weight Unfortunately, they're all small. Yeah. There's the biggest one, but that's a that's a female. Oh, they're getting cut. No, oh, don't trying. dig in yet. That's a nice one. That's a female, though. I can't believe how many crabs we're getting for pull. Yeah, we're getting a lot of crabs for pull. So. Okay, folks, just an update. Um, so it's been about 40 minutes. We got two keepers. Um, and we pull up, there's about three to about five crabs in each trap. So that's, that's not bad for this time of year in, uh, in, in the spring. Um, so we're doing better than I expected, that's for sure. The crab, they are hard shell. Um, you know, it's pretty solid, a lot of meat on there. So with the Promar, um, it was kind of awkward for me to cast it with my hand and then especially pull in. I'm just not used to that. So. What I did was I just cut the line and I tied it to my one of my rods and I'm just using the rod to cast with it. It's just a lot easier, um, but you don't have to. If you feel more comfortable with, you know, hand lining it, that's fine. But for me, I just find it is a lot easier to uh, cast with the rod and also to reel in, okay? Because when you're reeling in, when you're pulling in, you want to go really fast so that way the trap stays closed and you can trap them. Um, with the hand line, I couldn't do that because I'm just not fast enough. So, but so far that trap works pretty good. So for this rod, I uh, I, I moved it about 40 yards um, upstream. So hopefully we get some in this 
trap. So, oh, come on. Whoa, what a haul. Look at this haul, folks. Female, though. Again? That's oh. how it is. All I see female? one male, one male. Oh, that's better one than male. before. Yes, one male. How about that bottom one? That other one looks big. Oh, that's a female. Oh, that male is small, dang it. This one right here is a male. Oh, uh, shoot. Small. Man. Oh, well. Yeah, no, no keeper. Oh, well. That's how it is. All right, let's go, let's go release them. You got five that time. Yeah. Okay, off, off. All right, folks, so we only got two crabs. And it is almost 11.30, so we're going to call it a night. Uh, we're going to go pick up one last time. Whether we get in or not, um, that's it. We're done for the night. So let's do it. Oh, so uh, let's see. We pulled up about maybe four or five times per rod. And we must have caught total about 50 to 60 crabs. But only two legal males. So that's kind of... I guess that's kind of what I expected, you know, during this time of year, during the spring, because uh, springtime is kind of, you know, the lull for crabbing here on the Oregon coast. But I'm pretty happy with it. These are pretty nice. They're hard shell. Um, yep. Yeah, so let's go pull the uh, rods up and get out of here.